Hey guys, I'm back, and let's continue. So, what I did was, um, I just added the lens to a new layer, uh, here. So I could toggle it, so I can see more of the eye. Yeah, and as for this, I just added a surface shader. Sorry, because I started out, and it wasn't recording. <laughs> so silly of me, but yeah, now, now it's alright, and we're good to go. All right, so let's continue with the eye. We need eyelids, so I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add the rest of the. The rest of the goggles to a new layer. Here, just click on that new layer and toggle its visibility. All right, let's give this guy some eyelids. So go to create polygon primitives sphere. Now, we want to isolate these two guys. Just isolate that. And bring this guy up. Now, they're not going to align perfectly just yet. So... Uh, oh yeah, there is a technique to align them perfectly. Um, select this and this. Then go to Animation. Then go to Constraint. Point Constraint. And you can do a uncheck maintain offset and hit apply. Oh darn, that did not work. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why. Make sure your pivot is centered. So modify center pivot. There you go. Then select this guy. Then with maintain offset unchecked for the point constraint, hit apply. And as you can see, they're lined up perfectly. And all you have to do is unconstrain this guy. So if we open up Outliner, go to Window, Outliner, and if we click on this sphere right here, we can delete that constraint and it will stay there because we don't really want that constraint there just yet. All right, scale this guy up. We want to scale him large enough so it can work as an eyelid. Yeah. So the center is a bit off. So we can go to the side view and match that up. Just hold down D and V. Then with your Z axis selected, you can snap it to Oh, sorry. You don't have to hold D. Just hold down V. And with your Z axis selected, oh. God. With your Z axis selected, uh for just this object, you can move it to the center and there it's centered out based on topology yeah because we need more space there in front then do the same oh uh, no you don't really have to we like this okay so now let's extract it uh, let's cut it into half so I'll select half the sphere then extract so wait I'm thinking of bringing down the topology just a bit bring it down to 8 again so we can work with it properly select these guys then hit extract faces alright okay that is not working out okay so it looks like we'll need all that topology so just extract this there that should work. Three and three. Yes. Expected. Okay, now select both of them. We can turn off X ray now. Oh, you know what? We still need it. <laughs> select faces. Then for this one, select faces. Holding down shift and just double clicking. Then um, we want to turn off reflection. So hold shift and control. Then right click, reflection, then uncheck. All right, then extrude. Now we want to extrude this inside, so bring down thickness to a negative value. And there you have it. But before we close this down, let's add in an edge loop here and an edge loop here. 
and that should sharpen it. And there you go, there's our eyelids. We can open them up like this, just rotating them. And don't worry about the rotation values, we will not freeze this. But later on with the rigging, we will fix this. So yeah, there you guys go. And we can toggle the, we can toggle this up again. Uh -huh. Starting to look more like a minion. Um, okay, just a few minor notes. Um, I I still think this is a bit too big, so let's just scale this down a bit there to make the eyelids thinner. Yeah. And that's working like a charm. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Alright, so let's proceed to the gloves. Let's go to create polygon primitives. Um, let's start with a cube. Oh, there we go.